Over at the National Assembly, after days of tough negotiations and heated debates, Korean lawmakers have approved Hwang Kyo-an as prime minister. This puts an end to a nearly two-month-long vacancy of the number two political office. Our Park Ji-won has more. The confirmation process wrapped up on Thursday morning with 156 votes in favor of Hwang Kyo-an, 120 against and two invalidated. Before the vote was called, lawmakers from the two main rival parties took the opportunity to make one final appeal for their positions. It's not the role of the opposition parties to just blindly refuse the president's choice of personnel. We need a more fair and objective perspective for vetting the nominee. Today, I hope you cast a vote of yes, considering the nominee's capabilities and qualifications. Are you voting yes because Hwang kyo is the right person to assume the post of prime minister? Or is it because the incumbent administration cannot find another alternative and the political blow will be huge if he is voted down? The vote follows days of fierce debate over Hwang, centered around a string of allegations against him. On Thursday, opposition party lawmakers decided to set their objections to Hwang aside, end the debate and participate in the vote. The party was apparently concerned about the public response to the ongoing debate, worrying that people would feel that they were interfering too much in state affairs, especially amid the MERS outbreak. Opposition lawmakers are, however, planning to ask the new prime minister for an apology during the assembly's four-day interpolation session, which starts Friday. They also hope to resolve some of the remaining questions about the allegations against him. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.